Hey guys, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. We have left Williams, Arizona, and we're now at our next destination, which is Virgin, Utah. And we're staying at Zion River RV Resort. We left Williams and spent a day driving here. We went through Kingston, Arizona, over to Las Vegas, and into Utah. We drove through St. George, which is only about 28 miles from here and then got off and headed in uh, Route 9 to Virgin, Utah, which is actually the same route you take into Zion. Today, since it's such a nice day here in Virgin, Utah, we decided to take everyone on a tour of the RV resort that we've been staying at for the past month, and we'll be staying at through the end of January. So we're just taking a walk and gonna show you around a little bit. So enjoy and come along. We've noticed while we stay here that a lot of people that come to this area travel more from the Midwest and the Western states versus coming here from the East like we did. But most of the people you see here are either from Utah or Nevada. California has been very popular. Or if you're coming from the East, then it's Minnesota, South Dakota, uh, those winter states that people are trying to get away from. We have noticed that there's a number of airstreams here in the park. I think there's been most nights, uh, about six of them, but we see a few come in and out. Actually, probably a lot more airstreams than we see at home unless we're at an airstream event. And here, they do like to get into some playing while we're at the dog park. Once in a while, we'll hear you know, a little squeal if somebody, you know, gets a little too rough. If you do visit the dog park with your dog or anywhere around the resort, be sure that you pick up after your dog. The RV resort is very strict about uh, their campers picking up after their dogs. We're really in, enjoying this area, mostly because of the scenery, it's been wonderful. This isn't your typical um, place you would think to go to for you know wintering, you know, your snowbird destination, but it has worked out quite well for us. One of the things we like about this location is its closeness to Zion National Park. Zion is just down the road here, 14 miles, and we've been in there a couple of times uh, so far, and we plan on getting there a few more times. We're actually here at this park for two months. It's gonna be probably the longest stay that we will do on this trip. It definitely will be the longest stay on this trip. <clears throat> Come on guys, we're going for a hike. Go. go for a ride, go for a hike. Come on. Come on, Beth. Come on, get in there. Come on, Monty, get in there. One, jump.
interesting fact about this Grafton Cemetery is that uh, back in the year 1866, the town was hit with disease and it lost 13 people, all of the age 45 and younger. And some of them were only, you know, kids. And it really, you know, devastated the town, which was probably well less than 100 people to have, you know, 13 of them die. Turned out to be quite the adventure. Yeah. So Let's, we found well the cemetery was our destination, but this is you know a side a little side trip. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't know we could head to a cemetery to take a hike because it was on all trails and we end up finding a ghost town. So Grafton today is a ghost town and the buildings behind me are relics of what was once, what basically, I think it was the last time it was in use was 1886 and now it's a ghost town. is Gafton, Utah, and it was really quite a find. Of course, I'm sure people knew it was there, we just didn't. Right. right. Now you're probably wondering why we picked Utah for winter, because it's not your typical place for uh, snowbirding. And that's one of the reasons we picked it, because it wasn't a typical place. I went online and did a Google search of um, different snowbird locations and southern Utah came up on that list and as I started looking at it, it you know the weather in this area is typically 50s to 60s most days like today is probably about a 50 degree day I've got a, a sweatshirt on and I'm very warm in this it's very very sunny here which it makes a big difference you know COVID is a big thing this year and it's really kind of plays into how we travel and where we travel and one of the things that I was looking at at the time was Florida and Arizona were raging out of control for um, COVID cases. In fact, a lot of the Southwest, even California, and you know, a lot of the South was a lot out of control for COVID. But I was looking at, at the time, Utah was very low. I think they were at a 5% um, COVID um, testing rate. Uh, and I thought, well, that makes, you know, makes sense. Maybe this would be a better area to come. Well, obviously, you're watching this in, you know, in fairly current time. You know that pretty much every place is out of control for COVID. And Utah's really not any different than other places. We have been trying to be very careful. We tend to keep to ourselves. We haven't socialized with anybody here really at the park. We go out and do things on our own. The only time we're really in a group session is when we go to a store and do our groceries and stuff and then we do try to stay away from you know keep our distance from people when we're there if, if we can and we always sanitize our hands wear a mask and all that stuff we've been to Zion a couple times we've done a couple hikes there and we really are just blown away with Zion it's, it's a beautiful park and it's very different because most um, canyon type of parks you always look down from the top like the think of the Grand Canyon you're looking into the canyon Zion you enter the park in the bottom of the canyon and a lot of your hikes are up um, which really changes the park quite a bit but we did find a road that takes you to the upper part of Zion so you're up on the upper plateau and it was really beautiful uh, and it was also very nice because there was snow because you're in the higher elevations and they've had some snow up there so we got to drive through and see the area with with a little bit of snow on it which was very scenic so if you like this video 
please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along. And leave us a comment. If there's some place in the Utah area that you think we need to visit, let us know. We are using this as a base camp and we'll do day trips out of here. So if there's some place within a day's drive of the St. George area or in the St. George area that we should visit, let us know and we'll go check it out. Till the next time guys, take care and be safe.